actually testing out my new rod. It's 30, it's 30 to 40 degrees now. It's not very warm. I already got my line in the water. Can't tell if I had a bite yet. I might be getting played with my. That's a fish. That's definitely a fish. This might be a cat jack, actually. Seriously, this thing's pulling pretty good. What is this thing? Good size white bass. I'm gonna try to, to unhook him and let him go. No, I caught a white bass here. Well, I caught one. It was a tiny one. This is a good size fish, though. Good starter for this rod, too. Dang it, the barb's getting caught right under its lower, under its upper lip. Lip every time I try to pull it out. It's out. This is a pretty good sized fish though. Probably a good 20 or 30 inch white bass, somewhere in that range. Never caught one that big here. In fact, that's in fact, I've never caught one that big ever. Pretty good, pretty good fight though. Yeah, the bigger fight, it was harder fight though, trying to get the thing, get the hook out. Now I guess I should, I'm gonna string back up and, and hook, the, hook this worm, this dead, this destroyed worm up. It got destroyed, literally. It's just, there's, it's missing chunks out of it. It was worth it. Caught a good sized striped bass. Never caught one that big here or anywhere else. I do have to untangle my rod tip though. Just trying to cast back out and out and, and catch another. Hopefully, hopefully I wasn't the only fish in the river. I wouldn't be too surprised if it was, but but I hope it isn't. I mean, this whole trip would be a waste of time and shit. Nope.
no, not quite useful rod that I have to, that weight that'll come, that'll come down into a rod that's only about a foot long. I don't want to trigger a feeding frenzy with those white, with those, with that type of fish, because white bass are known to feed in the groups. So, so I cast it back out, cast it back out there in the relatively same spot. That could cause catch, cause you to catch more fish. They could be feeding just in that one area now. Yeah, there's a huge dead white bass over by the waterfall over there. See that waterfall? Yeah, there's a huge dead white bass over there. Just these big circular chunks missing out of it. Like, they're actual circles. Never seen anything like it. Oh, that's good. I'm going to mess with this. The line's too slow. I still got all my, my whole, whole gobble worm on, so that should, that's a good sign. I'm saying I still have a, with this. Well, that's, well, that's not, not a good sign at all. Because then, of course, if that fish being that big, I don't know if it was if it's a lot of hunt alone now since it's gotten so big. Got a lot more worms too. Caught, caught, I catch my worms. I don't, I don't normally buy them. The worms around, around, in, worms around in my small town, around the small town I live in in Kansas, not of the very, not very good quality. A lot of the ones I, I bought or my family's bought have ended up being very bad, and they were like almost like a basically just slime. There was a fish. There was a bite. It's actually too cold to wear my to wear my fishing hoodie right my fishing shirt right now.
Don't worry, pull up oh, this leash crack like it's me. I'm not getting any more action. I'm not getting much more action here though. Oh, this thing cool with this. Yeah, I had a bite though. Well, well I had the well, I had the camera pause. Didn't get it though. So I get trying the camera pause. That actually is a pretty good spot. Never actually fished there. I've seen a lot of fish hit, breaking the surface right there. There's something in this water just toying with me right now. Supposed to be moving the bait around slight bumps a tiny bit just to annoy me. Well, I'm just thinking a little bit. So it looks like this one is messy with me. I have this knack for telling when there's a fish toying with me. And I'm pretty sure one's toying with me right now. Especially with the way my line will move side to side a lot and then it'll go it'll shoot out it'll shoot out every now and then. It'll shoot out a, a short dis a tiny bit every now and then. There's just a bit, there's a lot of there's just big ripples. There could be a fish coming up by, zooming to get my bait. At least I hope. <laughs> that's I, I hope that's what it happens. That time my line moved a lot out a lot. That one I could tell was the wind. By the way, the line started going that way, and the wind started going that way. Well, arcing that way, and the wind is blowing that way. Only sitting my bait, my rod tip will shake just slightly every now and then. My line will move really quickly, quickly like something just took it. And I can tell it's out the wind by the way the line starting straightens out a little bit more every now and then. Whatever's messing with my bait is really starting to annoy me. That was a fish. That was something. Come on, fish. My line just moved that way, 
against the current. That was a bite. So when I watch it does that, I'm pretty sure it's a bite, especially when there's fine jokes out a little bit. And it's just a wide tip that moves. And it happens a lot when there's not much wind. Me reeling my line slightly will get the fish to bite. Which takes to actually take the bait this time. Instead of just messing with my line. Make it, maybe it's thinking it'll, it'll think the bait's trying to get away. Let's check it. I don't think I got any bait left. Nope, that's nope, no bait. No wonder the fish stopped biting. There was no bait on the hook. Just a tiny bit of weeds on it. Stupid fish done like me. And what's not to like about me? I just catch it and throw you back to the ink so you can come back and take my bait again. And one of the ones in my jar I've had in here for over a month. I've had it since, since November. Oh, November. November 7th. No, October 7th, 2017. Yeah, I labeled my jar for some other reason. Even, I don't even know why I did. It just did. I just did, I guess. So I was going to tell how, old, how long I've had a worm, though. This was a de it's a pretty decent sized worm, though, too. I'm putting on now, it's not really big, but it sure does not want to go on the hook. It's really trying to make keep itself as stiff as possible to keep me from, from, catch it, from catching it, putting it on. There we go. Okay, that's about what it was last time when I was getting the bite. Sorry, that's just my science. My science, the mucus from my science so my, like spraying down the back of my throat and, and clogging my clogging my throat. I line me slightly. Little, one of the little. Li one of the many little. Little t um stop things in line where it's the the spool marks in the line. Just went under.
Geschichte. Still something messing with it. I can just barely see it. Oh, this thing's getting so annoying. Yeah, just I cast put another half another wo tiny worm on. So one I had on, I don't even think a bluegill would have found big enough. Cast it out there once. After about two minutes, I f I realized I don't want it there. Pull it back in. Kept on trying to cast it just out past that this point out out there. In the in the and there's some some grass out there just past this little point. I think I just had a bite. I'm not sure though. Whatever it was, if there's any fish nearby, nearby it'll be coming back. If, it, if, 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 if there's anything left on that hook, it'll come, it'll probably come back. So if not, oh well. Caught one big one. Still planning on making a nice fishing video though. Though not very many people around here go ice fishing. Of course, they're not don't really like the the ice. They like the most people around in Kansas prefer having it nice and warm around 70 degrees. They don't want to be sitting on the ice squeezing their butts off. I don't blame them, but still gonna make an ice fishing video. So I can start a trend here. Ice fishing! It's like get these huge fish, come home. Get, I could get my picture in a paper with those fish, and I could. We could end up being. Just, and could end up starting a trend of ice fishing in Kansas. Let's get my bait. We still got bait. Most of it's there, I think. And most of it's there, just the fact that it's missing. There's weeds on it. I think that's why the fish won't take it anymore. There's there's moss on it. They don't like moss. Well, most fish don't. However, there are some fish that'll live in moss. Mainly panfish. I'm not very many people in Kansas go ice fishing these days. They prefer sitting inside complaining about how cold it is outside. That's a lot of people do today, do right now, and it's only today it's in the coldest. This, you know, this morning it was ended up being 19 degrees out. It was was not good. Still not no ice out here on this river. River though, I haven't checked the lakes though. At least it's not tomorrow's Thanksgiving, though. Too late, I'm cutting weight, so I can't eat very much. I 
not very fun. But well, I'm still also planning on posting some wrestling videos for you. Well, I probably will not post a hunting video because I don't hunt. I fish. That's what I'm. That's what I'm good at is fishing. If I was at the college I was thinking about going to, K State, they have an engineering program for their engineering program. I was actually thinking. I was. Th I was like, maybe I should join. What you walk on for their fishing team? Sounds like a good idea. I could use my competitive nature. For something you and my love for fishing into something for for once. Whatever was out there, I think it moved. Oh no! I it got a bite. I can tell that much. I can tell that much. There's more worm hanging off now. In the winter, most people watch football and basketball. Don't ask me why they watch pro basketball these days. I don't even, I don't even, I don't care for it. I find it rather useless due to the fact that there's that there's no defense in the NBA anymore. And what's the point of watching it? There's hundred point games when back when Magic Johnson was in there and there was defense actually used. Use the games only about 40 points, like they are in high school, middle school, city rec. Like in college, well, college there's still not very much defense though. Hey, this is not want to cast where I want it to go. I actually got a better idea. I'm not gonna cast out there anymore. So Dean's want to cast this, to cast to the left, I'm going to cast to the left. I don't know if it's too bad of a spot. I'm going to casting out there if there's no fish biting over there, though. Yeah, catching it, I'm really seeing Seeing a bass other than that dead white bass over there, so by the waterfall that's that big. So, there's a lot of stuff I don't know about the But I did hook a pretty darn big fish once. I had a, a somewhat live perch on. I put on a big hook, put it out, threw it out there. About two minutes later, I get this huge bite, and my pole, pole almost buckle, was buckling. And I'm like, oh no, that's, that's big, that's big. And I didn't catch it though, so so yeah. Bug flying around my face. Yeah, I'm going to go saw guy fishing or fishing in the spring. That's why spring is a fair time of year for fishing for me. So I can go out and take a saw guy, which are, which are some of the best fish to catch. I mean, they taste great, and they put up a monstrous bite. They're basically like the combination of a catfish and a pike. Never tasted pike, so I'm not, I don't know, so I don't know how they taste. But Captain, I know tastes good. I know Pike put up a huge fight. In fact, Pike are known to break lines a lot of the time.
Oh, holy crap, this video's already 30, 30 minutes. It's not even out of fault. Probably about an hour now. A little bit chilly, though. My hands aren't really thanking me. And I don't really blame them. Yeah, this is not going to be a good video for me, for wrestling for me. I'm not doing too good. Struggling at cutting weight. And I'm just struggling in general. We're gonna change locations. This part, this place didn't have left, left in it. Well, yep. We just changed spots. I haven't cast it out quite yet. That's what I'm about to do. Don't, don't have much worm left, though. I'm not gonna sit, out, sit over, be a little further that way when I'm. When I wheel in every two seconds, every few, every. Say, I, I get too much moss on it, well, too much vegetation on it, I don't like that. The same thing just happened, so it looks like we're moving again. Stupid vegetation, making me move spots. Finally figured out, got my phone set up. <laughs> So I was right here. I'm going to move farther this way. All I can remember earlier in the year, I was coming out catching minnows. For no apparent, for just, and half of them were too small to even put on a hook. That's what was really bad. I'm not the brightest kid, but I should know what a minnow that's too small for a hook looks like. Oh, I yep, just got set up, put on a different worm. Took off those two little tiny things and put on a worm that was a little more lively. Maybe I'll catch a fish that way. Or well, another fish. Hey, stop sliding, phone. Now this is my rod tip, okay? That's so far it looks pretty promising. Lively worm. There's fish biting out here. I thought I knew that much. There's, so I've lost a, a whole worm. Oh, and I want those two little worms getting attacked a lot. I only got that big white bass in, in though. So I brought it in right in this area, right, but, 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 right in this where I am right now. Right now, it was a little bit further. It was a little bit further that way. Way, so I was due to the fact that I don't just didn't want these big rocks jutting out. There's only one. It wasn't even very big. Well, I'm pretty good today. I haven't gotten snagged yet. 
Normally that's the first thing that happens. Even before I get a bite. Today that does not happen. It's unusual. I need to push the line off. Out of this weed though, and that might be my streak might continue. I'm just gonna recast. There we go. Right into the wake of the waterfall, which is normally a pretty good spot. Due to the fact that it's So I had a bite, once it's just been a rock. Yeah, it's a rock before it wasn't damaged. No maybe this rock just good luck and I can't snap get snagged with it. It was probably not being an hour long, though. I can guarantee, I can almost guarantee that. Okay, I got a bite and I didn't realize it. Worms been mutilated. Not only mutilated, it's been destroyed. It's been, been, it's half. Well, actually, no, it has been mutilated. It looks like half of it's missing, and and most of the hook spots were ripped out. Were ripped out. So, either a, it's it's it wiggled too much and did that, or b, it, I had a bite and didn't realize it, which is very likely. Maybe it'll come back. I'm going to finish eating this worm. I'm not sure if it does. After this worm's gone, though, I'm done. I'm, du I'm going to call it quits. It's cold. I don't cast it out directly at the waterfall because it's really, it's, it's really, for some odd reason, it's really shallow right by the waterfall. Right up, Dad. Dang it. Don't like it. I don't really want to because I've never found broken mine on this thing yet. It won't be very fun. It's in the fact that there's a worm on there is pretty big. Don't ever. Hey, bro. Oh well. Let's guess that's all we have for today. See, see you guys later.